Welcome back to Still Wakes the Deep, everyone. Here we go. Hiding spot. Here he comes. Man, with this smoke, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hopefully this is the right way. I see yellow paint. Can I? Oh no, this is just a hiding spot. But it's still helpful. Mr. Game Master, thank you for the super chat. He says, I am hype for the new Mario and Luigi game. Yes, there's a new one calling out Mario and Luigi Brothership. Whatever Brothership is. Is it friendship or brotherhood? They are really brothers. Why they're calling it Brothership, I don't know. But that was announced today among a slew of other games on the Nintendo Direct. Also, Dark Galbach, thank you. 17 months of support. He says, the creatures remind me of the game Prey. Really? Prey? What, are you talking about the original or the one from, like, 2017? Because these creatures look nothing like the Prey creatures from 2017. Those were, like, aliens, right? These are mut these mutations. Okay, I see where we're going. <laughs> the problem is, the creature is fast, and you can't see where it is. So you just have to guess when to go. Look, I just made it on one shot this time. Look, I didn't even have to do any of that sneaking. I just ran straight there. Oh, shit. Oh, that got me. I almost walked right into him. Hi, how you doing? Want a kiss? <laughs> Holy shit. God damn. Okay then. Ross Prey did a super chat. Holy shit. Ross Prey did a super chat. He says, come on. The Scottish voice actors keep up the good work. You like them? I, I think it's refreshing. You never really hear Scottish actors too much in video games, right? Like, it's very rare. It's cool that they did that. It definitely gives it a different vibe, right? I do like that. Thank you for the super chat there, Ross Prey. Okay. Uh, I guess we do this. Now I gotta get back. Or? I guess it did. But what did it do? Did it open that? I can't tell what it actually did. Hopefully there's a checkpoint. We have to fucking do this again. What am I doing? What did I do? I pushed the button. And what did it fucking do? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Raise the cargo hoist. I hit the button. What else do they want me to do? Uh, kill me. What, what, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Raise the cargo hoist. I fucking pushed the button. It didn't do anything. Why didn't it raise the cargo hoist when I pushed the button? There were arrow buttons on the switch. What the fuck? I'm supposed to know how to how to actually in real life activate a cargo hoist. It couldn't just be touch the button. Well, that's incredibly fucking stupid. I see you. Jesus, to move. <laughs> I gotta do it again. I gotta fucking do it again. Oh, give me your leg. It's like, ah, take the. I'm. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Alright, well. I guess I'm supposed to actually know how to operate this. I wasn't aware of that. Well, he made it. Now I gotta make it. I see it. It's me! 
<laughs> it's me! I guess this is supposed to be your laugh, your life flashing before your eyes when you die. That's why you see a baby. It's probably supposed to be your kid. Alright. <laughs> oh shit, they got him? I wasn't looking. Oh, he's done. Wow, that's fucked up. Jesus. That sucks. I couldn't tell if he grabbed him or if it has like some kind of a adhesive that stuck to his leg and pulled him. I think it had an adhesive. Shit. There he is, still down there. Get man. You know they're not, we're not getting off the oil rig this early. You know this chopper is gonna get fucked up. We should go back and get them. <laughs> like hell we should. You saw them. They're gone. Get a move on. RJ! Renick! We have to give them more time. You told them to come. What I told them is that we are leaving. And we are leaving. No. No. Why well, even no? Right oh wow, they're leaving. Oh, that's fucked up. Wait. Oh Wait. man. Wow. Wow. Where are you going? Jesus Christ. I can't fucking die here. Christ. Jesus. Come on. Come back. Hey! What is it coming back for? Oh shit! It lost control. Which means one of them was probably infected. Wow. Yep, one of them was probably infected. Better than to let you two together. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. No a bucky? Committee will be warm What's a bucky? Books already. You seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this all just blow over? Someone's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd marry beneath me, Cad, but I thought you were smarter than this. So something I'm already happened. The cops are already best. after him, no, apparently. No, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? Good with the lecking. Terrace houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, but you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in the work. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. But just let it cool down a bit. And then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. Yeah. When are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. You are shitting me, McCreary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking <laughs> scum of Seuss. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Here. Wow. What a story. Guy can't stay out of trouble, even though he has a family. Runs to work on an oil rig for four months, knowing the cops won't come yeah. after him out there. Seuss. What did he do? Fucking hell. <clears throat> I'm losing my mind. Another achievement. Fucking what? Everything breaks. Watch the helicopter crash. Wow. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Damn. So I wonder, 
Are these mutated people fusing together into like a super monster? It seems like that's what's happening. Like he's trying to grab all the people and stick them together. Christ, no wonder Renick was raging. Dear sir, I'm seeking information in respect of an incident that occurred on the evening of Wednesday the 27th at the Duke Public House. The incident in question involving a serious assault is being investigated by our crime division who are interested in speaking to a Mr. Cameron McCreary. who is under your supervision. Cooperation in locating the individual and escorting him back to the mainland is of utmost importance. So, he fucked someone up at a, at a, at a bar, I guess. And it must have been serious. Maybe the guy's, like, put in the hospital, like, paralyzed or something crazy. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, it's Brody. Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. Oh, hi, I saw it. Did you get to the lifeboats? Nah, they're busted. You fucking kid out. Mechanisms are completely fucked, cheap bastards. Then what, McQueary. Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. It's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. Hello? Hello? Shit. Uh-oh. Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you daft prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man. There's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. If they fail, you're gonna need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again, fucking gibble. <laughs> if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. <laughs> you go and do it. No, can't. I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and gossip. Aye, aye. The Jennies. Jennies. Get to the Jennies. Bro, they are. Oh, shite! <laughs> I love it! Shite! I love that they have a, a little slang word for, like, every possible thing. That's slightly different. Oh, shite! What? Again? It's Kaz. Who's this? Yeah, but they aren't there. Where is everyone? They're all gone. You, you've got to get back up here. Go climb back up. I just got here. Do it again. Ah, shit. Davros, I, Davros, can you hear me? Or Davros. Oh. That really sucks. Poor fucking guy. Gets all the way down there. And there's no lifeboats and no one there. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'd say the story is well written. It's it's really like a a horror survival suspenseful story. And the pacing is pretty good, I think. I'm actually liking it. It, it really feels like a great like this is a, an interactive movie, right? It's pretty darn good. And again, I didn't spoil myself, so I had no idea this is what the creatures were gonna be and everything. Administration wing. Oh. We haven't been here yet. Anyone in here? Another phone. Look at this. Scooby. Scooby. It's Scooby Dooby. Easy. What you on about? Who's here? Oh boy. Fuck. Sorry, Scoob. Don't have any Scooby snacks on me. <laughs> uh, it sounds like you're in trouble. <clears throat> okay, I think we need this because we saw some fire in the hallway. Scooby dooby doo. Screw all you. You're gonna get eaten now. Monsters come to eat all your flesh. Oop. All right, what's this? This used to be a map. <laughs> you can't see anything. It's all burnt. Oh, good. Helicopter safety procedures. If only they had followed these, maybe they wouldn't have crashed. Right? Gustavo, thank you for a super chat. And there is that kid on the TV again. That people said actually was really on UK TV 
back in the day. I, I don't know what that kid is. <laughs> I have no idea. A little weird. I guess that's what happens when they would go off broadcast, like when there's no, no active broadcast. Right? <clears throat> it's kind of crazy to think that back then when TV was on, that there was a cutoff time where TV would stop broadcasting, right? And then there would be dead air, and then it would come back in the morning, because now everything is 24-7, constant broadcasting, constant content, Right? Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. All right. They used to actually, in America, they would say, uh, you know, this is the end of our broadcast day, and then they would play, like, the national anthem, or, like, God bless America. And then they would turn it, turn off the broadcast. It would be dead air. Until the morning. <clears throat> Oh, I don't think we want to go there. Ugh. Gapan says we used to get Mr. Bo Blobby on our dead air screens. If any Americans know who that pink fucker is, I've never heard of Mr. Blobby. No, who is that? Viking. <laughs> There are warnings of gales in all. Oh. oh, I see a blood trail. That's not good. What the fuck happened in here? I got eaten. What else do you think happened in here? It wasn't a copy machine accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, don't touch that. Uh, hello. Look. What the shit? The ceiling's coming down. What? These doors are locked. So Padal was the name of the company who built the rig. Oh shit! Christ! That's a big face. It's Renick. That's the boss. Oh my God! That's his boss. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Fucking pissed. God damn, he has a big ass head. <laughs> Oh, it's right on my ass. Holy shit, this is awesome. Oh shit, we're not going that way. Oh, the floor broke. Holy shit, it's awesome. He's still coming. Time to squeeze. Oh shit, the door lock got stuck. Holy, we're not coming back here anytime soon. Bring up, unlock! No time for this shit. He's right behind me. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh shit. Woo! That's one angry manager. Damn. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. We're going to the starboard side. Fucking bastard. <laughs> I interrupted it. Fucking bastard. I don't even have time for my own dialogue. Get me out of here. Yo, I heard a boss is having big heads, but damn. That was something else. I am the king. Escaped from Reddick. Damn. Yeah, remind you of the baby from Resident Evil Village? Yeah, right. Same vibes. Well, oh boy. Well, we know where they crashed. Thank you to Jordan. Jordan did a super chat and he said, bye, Gus. I guess Gus was leaving. Thank you, Jordan, for the super chat. 
Ooh, man. That was a fun segment. I like that, that the floor broke out. That was cool. What's crazy is how photorealistic these games look now. Like, the game looks seriously real, right? It, you, <laughs> it just looks like you're really there. Like, oh my god. It's so wild. Mr. Blobby was like Barney the dinosaur, but he was a massive pink sausage covered in yellow dots who would smash up houses as part of a kid's TV show in the 80s. What the fuck is wrong with, with you guys over there? That's incredibly disturbing. <laughs> zoinks. Yeah, zoinks my ass. Oh, he meant to say by Gus. He's no longer on the leaderboard. Oh, that's what he meant. Jordan usurped Gus and knocked him off of the Super Chats leaderboard. This will be fun. Climb the chopper. That's creative. What the fuck? Oh no! Whoa! I slipped. I slipped, I tripped, and I took a big dip. Try again. <laughs> this is fun. It's seriously fun. I'm like, telling you, because the graphics these days are so good. It feels like you're really here. Like, holy shit, man. So what do they want me to do? Jump here. Okay. No! The blade! Yo, the helicopter blade caught me! <laughs> I didn't know the helicopter blade was spinning, and it clocked me in the head when I jumped. Oh, man. That sucks. That's great. Oh yeah, Dark Gullbach, or not, uh, Notorious Gun says if you fa fall into water five different spots in the rig, you actually get a special achievement. I made it this time. And Dark Gullbach is p pointing out plot holes. He says, he fell off the rig earlier in the game and survived it. Now he hits the water, he dies. What happened? Ugh. Eternal with the super chat says, I'm digging this game. Thank you, Eternal. Me too. Again, look at the graphics. They look so good. I did realize I'm playing this in 4K, too. I forgot I'm playing it in 4K, so... This is really my first full 4K gaming experience. And the game is quite good in that regard, graphically. Oh, nothing here, right? Wait. There is something here. Do we need to move this? I think we have to get this out of the way. No, you have to move from the other side. I see. <clears throat> like this. Here we are. Well, I guess that's true. Easy Freeze 40 says, well, before someone rescued him, now there's no one to rescue him. If he fell, he would just drown. So, I guess that makes sense. Thanks, Jordan did another super chat to stay on the leaderboard and said G Gus and Eternal get to hang out together. Thank you very much, Jordan, for the super chat. Appreciate that. You stay on the leaderboard. Okay. Who's left? Hello? Bruce. Brucey. Coming in. Oh, they're going to drown. That's Kaz. What are you? Bruce, tell me where you are. Bruce, Damn. can you hear me? Drowning. It's fucked up. Jesus Christ. Shite. Shite. I don't think Bruce made it. Dan. All right. I like the game. I mean, there's not much to it. It's basically a survival simulator, right? But at the same time, it's fun. I like the story, the pacing, and it is scary with the writing. <clears throat> so, I am enjoying it. It is short, though. Like, we know it's only going to be, like, five to six hours. But I guess maybe that's the perfect level for a game like this, right? Maybe you don't want it to overstay its welcome and have too long of a, of a play time.
side. Ugh, no way through. Give it a nice push. There it goes. Soma vibes. Yeah, I can see that. It certainly isn't having the big, big-brained psychological discussions about human existence, life, death, and what it means to be alive. But it's a good r ride regardless. <laughs> All right, it's a scary ride. Down into the deep dark. The bowels of the rig. Oh shit, this is electrified. Oh, that's not good. So how exactly are we going to disable this? Because I'm going to die if I hit it. Ah, maybe up here? Ah, here it is. That would have been bad. That would have been a shocking turn of events. Alright, that was bad, but it's all good. Do you think the word vibe is used over and over and people need to learn more than three words? Uh, vibe is now a common word. I I'll be honest, when I was younger, I never heard anyone use the word at all. Like, almost never. And now it just seems to be a word that's like a, a, cast a catch word that everyone uses. It's trendy to say vibe. Right? <coughs> Hold on. That's gas. That must be a valve oh, somewhere shit. off that gas valve first. How do I turn off the gas? Uh. Ah. <coughs> Stinky gas! I died! The stinky gas got me. <laughs> he died to stinky gas. Did it? Was it a hideous mutation that killed him? Was he decapitated by a helicopter blade? No, it was stinky gas. Oh, shit. That sucks. <laughs> That's funny. Too much haggis. Oh, too many beans. Love those bangers. Hate that mash. And he got the stinky gas. That's gas. That must be a valve somewhere. <coughs> there you go. That's better. This will get us to engineering. Okay, we're going back to engineering. Which they said to do. They said you have to save the generators, right? Loading is not bad at all. Very fast loading. No complaints there. Okay. Uh, wow. I received... A $5 tip. Oh, my chat just crashed. I have to refresh it, apparently. It says, not enough memory to open the page. Sweet. Try that again, then. I re reopen the chat, and I have a shout-out to do. People are discussing various topics, including a plot twist, someone named Fig, and the ongoing Super Chat board. They're also joking around that there's multiple people named Jordan. Is any of that happening in the chat? I didn't see that any of that. <laughs> okay. I received a $5 tip from Michael Bay. Although he's been in here all day, I know Jordan is a sock account. He can't evade me. Anyway, how are you liking the game so far? They haven't explained why everything has happened, which is not good. They haven't explained anything. All we know is they drilled into this thing that mutated everyone into monsters. We don't know 
what the thing is. We don't know what its goal is. Right? We have no idea. Zangief would like to know. He's interested, but not getting any answers either. All right. So there you go. Jordan is a sock count. That's nice to know. I don't know what he's talking about. But anyway, uh, thank you for the $5 tip. Michael Bay, I appreciate that. FYI, we are almost done with the stream for today. Let's see you guys now. Lady, but I'm playing this again tomorrow. Like... Jesus, am I glad to see you. She's alive. Hi, you and all. Fucking Rennick nearly had me. He's, he's, he's changed. He's fucking vicious. It's, uh, it's changed much to me. <laughs> Have you seen anyone else? Uh, uh, Brody. He sent me down here to restart the Jennies. The generators, I. That's where I was headed. The lights are on. Like we're an emergency battery system, no. There's not going to hold for long. The beer is taking a lot of damage. Infrastructure's compromised. Oh, that's just brilliant. So how do we get the Jennies working? Right, well, first thing, get in that cabin over there and reset the protective relay. That might kick the Jennies back on. Go on, see what happens. <laughs> Go on, see what happens. Okay. Looks like we'll be sneaking and hiding in here. Why else would there be a... Uh, ah. Uh, why else would there be the... Ugh. Why else would there be the uh, lockers there? Right here, too, see? Yep. And a bottle to throw for later. Yep, an area here to hide, see? So something's gonna come after us in here. Oi, McCleary! Where are you going, eh? The protective relay in that cabin. What cabin? There's no cabin over there. I can't even go here. There's an invisible wall right now. It won't let me past here. What cabin is she fucking talking about? I was over there. I didn't see anything. It wouldn't let me go in the uh, door. Fuck her. I'm going here anyway. What handling? Oh, look, there's an invisible wall here, too. I can't go. I cannot go to mud handling. They won't let you. <laughs> what cabin is she talking about? There's even chains you can accidentally hit and make noise. See that? There's no cabin over here. It's blocked. Look, pump control. It's blocked. Oh, I can go. E oh. You son of a bitch. Fooled me. Made me look like an idiot. Can I get this one open? No chance. No chance. I cannot get it open. No chance. <laughs> ah, you beauty. At least that works. I better tell Finley. The fucking thing's locked. Oh, no one's calling now. Yeah, that noise totally won't attract anything, right? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Hear it. Oh, I, I didn't do anything. Well. Shit. The generator must have tripped because of a fault somewhere. Aye, and the relay will just keep resetting until we fix it. We'll need to restart the generator manually. Oh, right, damn it. Then. There's two jobs here, McCleary. The Jenny's in the fault. You deal with the Jenny's, and I'll find the fault. The Here comes the creature. I don't know, but the generators are that way. Well, I'm no fucking going in there. Have you got a better plan? No? Aye, well, I fucking didn't think you would have somehow. Well, you got on with it. Aye, where you go then? <laughs>
Go right under. Yep. No. What the fuck? You can't go under the gas? Oh. Oh my god, it was right in front of me. It was literally right in front of me. Oh, this looks great. Look at this. Psychedelic. Oh, fuck me. Psychedelic mutant balls. <laughs> Psychedelic mutant balls. What the hell? What's that? Oh. I don't know if I got a bottle. Mud handling. Whatever the hell mud handling means. Oh my god, look at this. The fuck is that? I think we want to know. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't see it. it was in the dark. Here we go. No? You can't go through there? Seriously? We just crawled around the whole room and didn't get what we were looking for. Right? Like, what are we doing? We're going over here. Maybe we're doing this. <laughs> No, this is where we started. Stop fast. We just went in a circle. But we're on the other side now. And I started up there, right? So what the fuck are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing in this room. It hasn't been explained. What the fuck? I don't know. We're not flipping this thing. I don't know what we're doing. Confused as hell. We walked through the whole room and didn't find what we were looking for. I don't know. We're walking through the whole room again and I still don't see what we're looking for. There's lockers over here. Maybe we gotta go up here? And we're going all the way up. Okay, this is probably it. Although I don't think I need to sneak right now. I think that the creatures will show up later. Wait, is this where we came in? Are you fucking kidding? No, it's not. Okay. Not where we came in. Going up. Definitely a creature coming. I don't know what it is. No, I did not buy the game. It is GameStop. Uh, Game Pass, uh, Abdullah. Not GameStop. Game Pass. <laughs> Look at all the red valves. What is this freaking... This game was not made by Valve, for the record. Despite the overwhelming amount of red valves in it. Something is upset. Something is very upset. Fuck. Gas again?
Whatever this thing is, it spread fast, right? No crouch jumps? I would have welcomed the crouch jump. Literally, Half-Life is the only game that ever required crouch jumping. Which is probably why I had such a problem with it. <laughs> there was no opportunity to actually learn it in any other game. We hot over on the other side. Not too far now, except, you know, once we do it, a creature's gonna show up, or else why would all these walkways be here, all these sneaking ways, right? That's why I'm not gonna pick anything up. I'm gonna save everything, throwables and stuff, because you know there's gonna be a creature coming after us. This is way too easy to get there. Fuck. What's that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Mutated Adair. Right there. I can't see where I need to go. How do I get up there now? Right here. But the ladder's not down, is it? It is. Okay. Track them. Nice. We made it in. Sweet. What's funny is that you never need these maps ever, right? Like it's nice to see that they the layout, but you never need the map. You'll never it's not like Resident Evil where you're going back to rooms with items or anything to unlock doors. It's just in general, they want to give you a feeling, I guess. Like we were originally in the generator room. We went through mud handling. Now we're going to like pump control. You know, like showing you kind of your path, but it's not a big deal. No, I've not found the key yet. I can't start the journey without it. So I need power up the rig module. Oh, Jesus, don't fuck it up now. In order. Come on. Order? How the fuck do I know the order? What? Huh? How the fuck would I know the order that I need to do? What is he talking about? Are we supposed to do one, two, three, four? So, pump control uses mud handling generators? No, I don't know how this works. not even what it is. It's deck engineering. Are there numbers on them? There were, but they're all torn. Well, this one says one. Do I just turn them all le right to left? That could be a two. That could be a two. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Start up sequence. Had to... Something ignore control panel. Use labels. But the labels are torn off. 
What the fuck? The labels are torn off. You asshole. Uh. Doesn't help at all. No hints here. Maybe it just has to be like, like guessing. I don't see anything in the room. There's nothing in the room that's a hint. There's no new. Nothing. Right? Well, look. This one. One of these has to be two. Because one is two and one is three. I can't tell four or five. They look exactly the same to me. There you go. Okay. seen a dare. Oh, it's that prick. But he's a being mud handling by the sounds of it. Listen, we are in business. We've gone from full power to batteries to sit <laughs> in the fucking dark. What are you all about? <laughs> well, you know, is going to help us, is it? Just get that generator running. It's suiting the floor. Oh, yeah. Maybe it should be in there somewhere. I'll be out here looking for the fall. We'll be looking out for a dare as well, all right? So restart the generator. Obviously the key must be here. Alright. Now we go through here. And that's how we get out there. And probably when he comes back, we gotta hide from him and start the generator up. But, sadly my friends, we are out of time. We cannot continue more today. <clears throat> but, I did have a good time with the game. I like the creepy vibes. I like the atmosphere. It feels like you're kind of living through a 1980s horror movie. Does it not? It totally feels like that to me. Like, it's a, it's living through an interactive 1980s, The Thing, stalker, monster-style horror movie. So, I am enjoying it. I had a good time with it today. My initial impressions are positive. I think the graphics are excellent here on the Series X at performance mode. On quality mode, they were way too low frame rate, but quality mode or uh, performance mode is great. I'm even playing at 4K and it looks great to me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I had a good, a good time with it. And I'm actually looking forward to more tomorrow when we continue on and uh, see how, how who or if anyone escapes the madness of still makes. So if you've enjoyed. These first three parts, please remember, like the videos, leave some comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not. And uh, let me know what you think of the initial impressions the first two and a half or so hours here. And more coming and prob probably the conclusion tomorrow. People are saying the game is not very long. But we're probably going to wrap it up in the next session. I'll see you then. But everyone here today in the stream chat, you were great. Uh, great audience. And we'll see how it all ends tomorrow. Peace out.